Hey ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at uh, the original base. I'm Grimwit from NatEvil.com. It's sunrise. I thought I'd show you a little project I finished here. There we go. I got our bridge. Yay! And of course it's all over ice because, you know, Minecraft likes messing with me. Also, I have a potion and today we're going to be talking about potions and shortcuts. Mmm, potion! Okay, let me catch you up real quick, now that we're in the cow plains. Uh, I have gotten potions to work, yay. And I'm going to show you how to make certain potions. Specifically, though, we need to make harm potions. Splash harm potions. I've done some potion research on the, the local server. Uh, well, uh, not my server, but a server that belongs to a fan, because she's really nice. Thank you, Loki. Nom nom nom. Uh, because of the her server, uh, I've been able to figure out things about netherwort and portion making and all kinds of cool stuff. It's going to be awesome. But also, thanks to uh, a friend of mine, Fuji, who's a longtime Natchian, uh, he explained to me how you can make shortcuts through portals uh, in the nether and make them... It's actually really simple. Make the make it so that you can reasonably predict about where they're going to show up. So I'm going to get try my hand at that, and that's going to be neat, because either it's going to go very right or very very wrong. Either way, it's going to be entertaining. speed potion does not affect your boat travel. That's troublesome. I haven't extended to it's going for another five minutes, so I'm gonna be running around like a madman. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugar rush! Alright, back at the island of corn. Uh, I got a uh, comment earlier, uh, one of complete confusion of why this place was called the Island of Corn. What happened to your ears? Oh, there they are. Uh, listen, uh, I listened to your comments, and, uh, you know, when you guys make a suggestion, I try to listen to it, so this is, I mean, most of you know that, but, uh, th this is for that, that one guy. Yeah, I, uh, I listened to comments, and I got the name from a comment. Uh, incidentally, the caves underneath uh, the Grim Watts farm is uh, called the Boneyard, thanks to Month. Okay. First, let's talk shortcuts, because that was the first thing that I needed to worry about. Oh, I forgot to uh, remove that. Well, you know, I'm not worried about it. Uh, I have spent quite a bit of time... Uh, Collecting some stuff, collecting water for for uh, potion making, setting up potions so that we have awkward potions. Uh, I'll I'll explain that in time. And collecting ingredients for potion making, mostly sugar. Sugar is like one of the most useful things that I, I burn through because it's how you make speed potions. But I'll get to that in a second. Uh, first and foremost, uh, our Nether Wart farm is doing really good. And check this out. See those in the back? Those are full up. Those are all the way uh, uh, to the top. That means these are ready to pop. Uh, this one too, because it's nice and bright red, and again, it stands about as tall as a, a full block. Uh, once again, though, I'll get to that in a moment. All right, let's continue on here. We got our little passage, and I've got two spots. I got one spot right here, and one spot way the hell over here. We're going to start with this one, because this one should take me back to Grim Watts Farm. Will it? I don't really know. <laughs> That's uh, one of the, th the fun things about Minecraft is, uh, you know, we're living, we're learning, and, uh, and life is good. Ah, there we go. Okay, good. Whoa. It's really hard to maneuver with this speed potion the way it is. So let's just be careful while we're placing blocks to set this up again. Because I don't want to have to mess with 
I don't want to have to break obsidian. So much pain. Let's see, that's three high, right? One, two, three. Yeah, that's three high. Excellent. All right. Let's set this thing ablaze. And, uh, <laughs> there we go. Let's see if this worked. Oh, boy. And here we are. Hey! Hey! That was too perfect. Check that out. There's the there's Grimwatt's farm. All right, and we got a little nether portal here. We're going to have to dress this up later. Uh, maybe make it a lot of stone, give a couple of pillars around here, throw some cows in as sacrifices. Awesome. Let's jump in, and we're going to go to the next shortcut. Cool. Okay, that's one down. Here is the next one. And this one was tricky because I basically had to build it. Yeah, as you can see. Oh, hey. I'm, I'm going to have to check that out later. All right. Uh, let's see here. We need... Grab that. Grab that. We're going to put it right there. Be careful with our obsidian. And I think my speed potion... Yeah, my speed potion just wore off. Excellent. Okay, now, what am I doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. When I was outside on the map, I paid attention to two coordinates. The X coordinate and the Z coordinate. The Y coordinate is height, as you may know. Well, what you may not know, and which is so simple, I don't know why anybody else hasn't already told you this, is that the X and Y, or the X and Z coordinates are eight times more in the regular world than they are in the nether. So you just take the coordinates from the regular world and you divide it by eight. And there you go. That's all you need, man. You divide it by eight and you get the nether coordinates. That's it. You take the real world, co real world coordinates and you divide it by eight. Why did nobody else tell me this? Thanks, Fuji, because I would not have figured that out. And... Boom, I'm in some kind of forest. Hey! Hey, there's, uh, we, we, oh, shit! <sighs> Still alive! Still alive! <laughs> okay. Four, five, still alive. Uh, okay, but the good news is <laughs> there's, there is a nifty little, build myself a bridge there. There's a nifty little shortcut here now that isn't going to kill me. We slowly work our way out. Yep. And we have ourselves shortcut, so I don't have to keep running back and forth to places. Awesome. Oh, there's my wonderful wizard's tower. It's sunset. Let's get back into a safe place like the nether. Whoa. All right. So, we have one place for Corn Island. What's going on there, buddy? How, how you doing? We got one place for... One portal for Corn Island. One portal for the, uh... uh Grimwitz Farm. Grimwatt's Farm. Shut, shut up. You guys are so loud. And we got one place for, uh... For the original home base. Awesome. So now it's time, time to start talking about potions. I guess the best way to do this is to just kind of start off from scratch... One, two, three, there we go. We're gonna take, uh... We're gonna take three bottles of water. I'm sure, my own time. So let's say I'm gonna make a strength potion. Uh, different ingredients makes for different potions. Here's how you do it. First off, you need nether wart. Without nether wart, you're not gonna make your potion. So let's take, uh, one nether wart. Uh, for the strength potion, we're going to use blaze powder. One blaze powder. And, uh, finally, there are two, uh, two things that I use. There's actually other ways you can do this. There's two things that I use. I use either glowstone or redstone. Glowstone I don't have any of. Not right. Not just yet. So I'm just going to make it at a redstone. And, um, yeah. There we go. Put in your water bottles. Start with your base, nether wart. Without nether wart, you, uh, you have no potion making. 
Netherwart's gonna make awkward potions. Awkward potions by themselves, they don't do anything. That's okay. Here, I've already got one uh, already set up here. Uh, this is your base potion. Let's add blaze powder. Blaze powder is gonna make our uh, uh, our strength potions. We can make those strength potions more powerful with glowstone, or we can extend the time that it happens, the the time that uh, it takes effect with redstone, which is what we're gonna do. Finally, we have gunpowder, and gunpowder makes things splashable. There we go. Potion of strength for three minutes. Let's uh, let's extend that to a longer amount of time. Um, you know what? We want to make a harm potion, don't we? Okay, I know how to do this. There we go. Okay, we want to make a harm potion. We're going to need two things that we don't have. Take this melon, take this gold nugget. Boom, glistening melon. It's for uh, heal potions. And I'll get to heal potions in a second. Uh, but check this out. You take your spider eye, you take yourself some sugar, you take a mushroom. Always one of these brown mushrooms. Never the red. I don't know why. Boom, fermented spider eye. Alright, now, uh, how's our strength potion? Oh, right, strength potion looks awesome there. That's gonna add about uh, a heart and a half of extra damage to whatever weapon we use, even if we just use our fists. Alright, we got our aqua potion here. Uh, don't start off with fermented f spider eye. That's a corrupter. Basically, uh, it inverts whatever a potion does. We're gonna start with glistening melon. Now, glistening melon plus, uh, plus gunpowder equals splash potions of instant healing. I believe this is two and a half hearts of healing, and you always want to splash potion your healing, because when you're in the heat of battle, you, you don't have time. You, you just don't have time to, to drink a potion. Quaff your potion later, man. Uh, let's see, potion of healing. All right, corrupt that some bitch. Fermented spider eye. Now, if I'm going to uh, continue with uh, Aimasuki's challenge of killing every one of every kind of monster with... Uh, with potions, I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need something more powerful. We're gonna have to get some glowstone. Uh, da -da -da -da. Come on, boom! Potion of harming, instant damage, and finally gunpowder. Gunpowder makes it splash, which makes it awesome. There we go. I don't need uh, I don't need all these potions of uh, strength just yet. Might as well take that. Now, one of the things I know f I'm known for doing, or at least I do, uh, I always keep some, uh, there we go, I always keep some awkward potions ready, because, you know, you, you never know when you want to make your next potion. Uh, that means I need more nether wart. Oh, yeah. Instant splash potion of harming. We're going to try this out here in a second. Load up the awkward potions. Might be useful later on. Okay, uh, we need to test this out on someone. How about you? Okay, we, we need to plan this out. For, don't, don't just jump into shit. That'd be stupid. We've already seen how stupid jumping into shit is. Let's, let's get to a position where we can defend ourselves first. And let's also eat something, because I'm hungry. Nom 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 nom. Uh, this looks like a good position. I can defend myself. All right. Uh, hey there, buddy. Ah, he doesn't care. Well, fuck you. Uh, I don't think that hurt him. Okay. Clearly, there's some experimenting that needs to be done. Well, as it happens, I need more uh, more nuggets. So, fuck you guys. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, God. Good times had by all. Especially me. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. He's hopped up on that uh, harm juice. Alright, that's good. I'm just gonna wait until this is all uh, nice and full before I. Uh, I don't need nether wart right now. Okay, uh, let's see here. What have we covered? We've covered uh, shortcuts. We've covered potions. We've covered harm potions. Uh, you, you know what? There's plenty of places you can look up how to make potions uh, after this, but I think you got the, the general idea. You always start with a base of nether wart. Always, always, always. Without nether wart, you have no potions. Then you move on to some secondary item. Uh, sugar, 
makes for uh, speed potions. Melon plus gold nuggets make a glistening melon. And in fact, let's make a couple of those. Spider Eye makes poison. Blaze Powder makes strength. Now, I don't have any slime balls, but slime balls plus blaze powder uh, make, uh, I forgot what it's called, something like smelting balls or something. And that's going to be our, uh, uh, whatever that is. That's fire resistance, and that's real nice for fighting blazes. Uh, so is Strength Potion, which is just blaze powder. Gas Tears? I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's try it out. There's a gas tier. Hey, it's bubbling. It's gonna make something. Huh. Guess we'll find out. Potion of regeneration? Fuck yeah! Let's extend that some bitch. Right now it's only for 45 seconds. But we're gonna make that longer. Of course, that makes sense. Gas, gas are really hard to fight. Or rather, hard to kill not over lava. So, I guess that makes sense that it'd be like one of the most powerful friggin' deals. Okay, what does this extend to? Two minutes of regeneration. With or without food, you're gonna be regenerating. Awesome. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Um, you know what? And just for, just for good measure... Actually, no. No, I'm not gonna add the gunpowder, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's because the gunpowder though makes everything splashable and honestly happy. Um, splash potions, I, I've noticed they they cut the amount of time that the effect is there. And honestly, if I've got two minutes of regeneration, then I'm, I'm drinking that when I know I'm getting into trouble. Uh, let's see, we've already done poison. You know what, that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much all I know about, anyway. And um, there are other resources you can get online. Check out Minecraft Wiki, of course, uh, where you can get all kinds of cool information about uh, potion recipes and any other recipes. Blah, 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 blah. If you don't know about Minecraft Wiki and you're playing Minecraft right now, well, then I've done you a great service. I'm going to go ahead and call the video quits here. Tomorrow, I think we're going to tackle another challenge. Yeah. Everybody, uh, everybody dance. Dance party! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dance party! Oh, oh, oh. Wait a second. Didn't I blow this all up at the beginning of the adventure? Ah, well, there's your problem right there. You got what you call a uh, loose connection on the uh, redstone wiring there, uh, gonna cost you about 1850 to fix it, but uh, I'll do it for you for $900, and here you go. That'll be $900, please.